How important is the title to your book? I'm going to tell you coming up. Hey guys and gals, boys and girls, authors and author wannabes. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Your old buddy Tim back again to dispense wit, wisdom and advice uh, on the topic of writing, publishing, marketing, all of that stuff that goes into helping you become a better writer. And I uh, hope your writing's going well. Hey, on this show, uh, how I help you is I answer questions. At least I make up semi-coherent answers to questions received from viewers like you. And if you have a question on writing or authoring or any of that good stuff, drop it in the comments below. And if I use your question on the program, you will get a digital copy of one of my books, either Angel of Mercy or Sins of the Father. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe and like this channel. I do this for you because I am a giver. I'm a giver. I'm a go-giver. I do this to help you become a better writer. So uh, click subscribe and, uh, you know, God forbid you miss an episode of this because this is uh, an entertainment value. So question today comes from Andy. Andy says, Tim, how important is the title of my book? Great question, Andy. And believe it or not, one that I've gotten uh, quite a bit. We've talked about titles and covers on this show considerably, and we will continue to do so because uh, they're so darn important. And yes, your title is important, Andy, for a number of reasons. It, mainly, uh, that's what's going to grab someone to read your book. Duh. Think about it this way, Andy, if you're perusing Amazon or you're walking down the aisle of a bookstore and you see this book and the title is very interesting, it's very uh, enticing to you, it's intriguing, chances are you're going to stop and take a look. You're going to look at that book, you're going to find out more because the title, uh, it, it uh, oh gosh, what's the word, Andy? It, it enticed you to do so, it drew you in, it caught your attention. Duh. Titles are very important. You got to remember how people shop for books, Andy. If they're, uh, you know, just searching Amazon or what have you, uh, chances are they're looking at all those thumbnails that are rolling by. <clears throat> Excuse me. So your cover art is important, and we're going to talk cover art in another video, uh, but your title is equally important because it sets the tone for the book. The title should represent the story that's in the book. Not only be enticing and be intriguing and be interesting, it has to represent the book itself. If it doesn't, uh, it's going to tick the, uh, the reader off. If I look at, uh, for example, my, my favorite author is Stephen King. You can see him back here over my shoulder. And this guy knows how to do a cover and knows how to title a book. Look at some of King's books. Look at uh, It. Just one word, It. Before you saw the movie or read the book, did the word It frighten you at all? No, but now it, anytime you say it, everybody thinks of uh, a killer clown living in the sewer. Uh, look at other King uh, book covers, uh, Pet Cemetery, uh, Misery, The Dead Zone. You know, these are all needful things. They're all just great titles that you see that title and you have to know more. Now, even a great one like King has his moments. Does anybody remember the Tommy Knockers? Not quite sure what Stephen was thinking there. You know, another guy, uh, author who whose books are named appropriately, uh, who I don't read, sorry, is uh, is Nicholas Sparks. You know Nicholas Sparks. He writes the the warm, fuzzy, love lost, recaptured, then she dies kind of books. Uh, but you look at his titles, uh, The Notebook. Even something as innocuous as the notebook will get your attention because you see the pretty guy and girl on the cover and then you see that. And if you're a romantic at heart, you know something's going to go on. Uh, what a walk to remember is another one of his. Uh, what is it? The, the best of my love. There's another one called Safe Haven, I think. Um, those books are titled appropriately for what they are. You know, you, you I don't think you'll ever see... Uh, Nicholas Sparks write a book called Misery. 
or Pet Cemetery. You know, those pretty much tell you what those books are about. So, you know, you've got to look at a couple of things, Andy. Let's let's figure out, okay, how are you going to name your book? The first thing that I would look at is who is the audience for the book? What's the genre and who is the audience? And that is going to help you uh, come up with an appropriate title that will appeal to that demographic. If your genre is horror and your demographic is 35 to 45, you're going to have a pretty good idea of what those folks are going to like to see. And as always, uh, go over to Amazon or go down to the bookstore and do some research. Look at the, the top 10 books selling in your particular genre and look at the titles. Chances are those titles are going to be reflective of the book and it's going to be something that makes you want to read more. All right. Uh, great titles also evoke emotion. Remember, a title and cover art go hand in hand. So if you see something like Pet Cemetery, and on the cover of the book there's a tombstone and a big cat, and then you see the words in a very creepy font, you know this is going to be a page turner uh, right here. You don't ever want to mislead the reader. Uh, make sure your title represents the story. And, uh, you know, avoid cliches and cutesy titles. You know, my, my titles, for example, Angel of Mercy uh, literally is about a, uh, a doctor who has been accused of, angel, uh, of uh, mercy killing patients patience, euthanasia, that sort of thing. And Angel of Mercy is just a, uh, a common uh, something you call someone who comes in and gives mercy. And in his mind, that's what he's doing. I don't want to do any spoilers. Uh, same way with the sins of the father. It is about a young man who learns that his father has done some terrible things. And uh, now he's having to pay for the sins of the father. So, um, Look at what your book is, but again, don't avoid cliches. Um, one of the questions I get a lot is, can my book be the same title as another book? Well, yeah, you don't copyright uh, book titles. So if you wanted to write a book called Great Expectations or Pet Cemetery, you're certainly free to do so. It's, it's absolutely okay. Just make sure they represent the story that you're writing and don't do so to try to write off the coattails of uh, David Copperfield or... Stephen King or whoever it happens to be. So what about some lousy titles? Well, you know, I was looking around the internet and I actually found a website uh, that has some lousy titles for books. And I'm not going to read these out loud. I just want you to take a look at a couple of the books and uh, look at the, look at the title. Is that something you, how about this one? Yeah. Yeah. I think those things or those guys were probably thinking, hey, these titles are really going to rack up the book sales. Not so much. All right. So, Andy, there you go. Just remember your title, your cover art, the cover of your book is most important because that's what people see initially. And you want to get uh, give them a title that grabs their attention, draws them in and makes them want to know more. All right. Uh, I'm going to do another video, I think, on cover art because I also get a lot more questions on that. And I want to make sure that uh, I beat that horse completely dead for you. So, Andy, there you go for asking the question. You get a copy of my book, uh, either Angel of Mercy or Sins of the Father, both with excellent titles. I might add, if you have a question or a comment, drop it in below. And if I use your comment or question on the program, you will get a free digital copy of one of my appropriately entitled books. And I also want to add, let me ask you, what about your titles? Drop in below. Tell us some of the titles that you have uh, used for your books. Feel free to even put in a link. I don't care. Just knock yourself out. But I'm always interested in seeing what you guys are doing and how well you are adhering to the advice you get on this program. Because remember, my goal here is to help you become a better writer. It's an appropriately entitled YouTube channel. Huh?